Now for the big cat lovers, not far from beautiful Cape Town, South Africa. I had a chance to hobnob with some ambassadors. Yeah. Although these have fur and spots. What are you doing, Jojo? This is Joseph, and he's one of the stars of Cheetah Outreach. And he's beautiful. Because they built for the run, if you look at him, he's very oh, light. Oh, now he's going to relax. Very lean. Joseph is the ambassador that teaches about his wild cousins and gets people to join us in our conservation work. And judging by the purring, he must love it. Ooh, Cheetahs are only happy. one of three big cats that purr. Any cat that can roar like a lion, tiger, can't purr. And purring is always preferable when you're petting a big cat. He does photo shoots, weddings. But most importantly, Joseph is part of a program to help a cheetah population in crisis. One of the main threats to cheetah, especially in South Africa, is that the free-roaming cheetah are living on farmland. The farmer sees predators as a threat. They are losing up to 30% of their livestock a year. It's your lion, your leopard, hyena, jackal, caracal, who hunt at night that are the issues. Cheetah get the blame because they hunt during the day when farmers can see them. We're not going to solve the problem without solving the farmer's problem. Oh, hey, Jojo. Oh. So in this case, a cat's best friend is a dog. It's not a new way, it's a very ancient way. Um, the Anatolian Shepherd is a Turkish breed of livestock guarding dog, and they've been using them for over 5,000 years to protect livestock against bears and wolves. Masifa is almost as big as a bear. <laughs> uh, depends, it depends on the bear. <laughs> uh, they intimidate the predator, they don't just go out and attack. And the farmers don't kill the cheetahs. Getting together and doing, making the choices to save our environment. It's just finding the way and then moving forward with it. And that's what you're doing. Nothing is going to move forward unless people are involved. This might be the happiest cheetah in the world. For us all, everyone who's involved in cheetah reach, it's a life choice and not a job. I'm tapping in.